the key challenges we face currently that we have to focus on on a day like today is how plastics are pervading through the systems and Norway has actually been a leader in recycling and reusing. I have with me the Norwegian ambassador to India. So uh, Norway has actually been a leader in the bottle deposit system where uh, consumers as well as producers are encouraged to recycle something like single-use plastics that are used very often. What are, we, what are your views on a system like this being implemented in a country like India? Well, I think with all systems, uh, we, when we want to f find good systems, we go around, look at others, see whether, whether there are elements in them which we can use, and then we have to adapt them to our own system. Because clearly countries are different, and, and what works one place doesn't work other places. But I think there are a number of elements in the Norwegian system which are very useful. First, the fact that we have a system where you, through technology, I mean, people go and, and deposit their uh, use the bottles at the shops where they bought it, they get money back for it. So we get, we know that we get 95% of the bottles, they come back in that way. That's uh, separated and source, meaning that the quality of what comes for uh, recycling is very high. So that's, that, that's a starting point, which means that the, uh, what we can use the plastic for uh, or the recycled materials for is, is uh, more different things than if you have a low level of, of quality of, of what you get in. So that's a, a, a good part of it. The second part is that it's based on, it's not the government paying these schemes. It's actually what we do is that when you go and buy a bottle of uh, fussy drinks, you pay 10% extra price on it. That's a deposit. When you come back with a bottle, uh, you send it through a machine, you get a receipt for it, you go to cashier and you get the, your money back. So you are encouraged to doing this and we see from the recycle process that, that that works. And so there you have a system which is partly finance getting back with government not involved at all. And then you have a system where, for instance, the first drink producers also are contributing a bit to to this system because they see it's also for themselves it's it's a positive thing to contribute to it and the government the way we uh, the government contributes here is actually that if you if the businesses have outlays on this system of course they get tax rebates on it so there are many of these elements can be used in india i think and then there are some elements which obviously don't fit so well here so governments, consumers and producers can get involved. Are there any specific states that Norway is looking at or any specific uh, programs that Norway is hoping? Uh, what kind of investments are you thinking of to encourage this kind of recycling the way you've achieved it in the country? No, I, I think what is happening here is very encouraging because the government has really put it high up on the agenda today. And we see a couple of, of uh, state governments even being in the forefront, like Maharashtra, for instance, which will already has a, an, an enacted uh, legislation on this field. And I, I think with all problems we are facing, the first important step is awareness, creating awareness. What's happening today contributes to creating the awareness. The fact actually that some state governments already have acted shows that the po politicians and the authorities here are very much aware of it. And But for it to be a successful uh, scheme, you also have to have the consumers. You and I, if we don't recycle, if we are not contributing it, it won't work. So you have to have a good plan, but you also have to have uh, citizens who really understand that this is a, uh, a problem you all have to contribute to, uh, to solve. So pay a fee, get it back, aid in recycling is what has made it possible for Norway to actually get back 95% of their disposable plastic bottles and consumer awareness, as would be promoted on a day like today, is what will be key to implement such schemes in India as well.